so today I'm making cranberry mint soap. I already have my kale and clay mixed in. I'm going to add in the light solution. Organic coconut milk. About all my videos start exactly the same. I don't really vary my recipe. I have a couple tweaks here and there that I do, but Now my fragrance, which is a mix between cranberry, a yuzu, and peppermint. It's a little yellow. Well, a lot yellow actually. I don't recall it being quite that yellow in past years, so that's interesting, but could just be my memory. I'm going to blend it up just a smidgen more. For three different colors. I don't need much, it's just gonna be an accent color right in the middle. Okay, so now I think I will go ahead and color the little colors. So I have a red. I have a couple of greens. They are a sea green. Kind of for the mint. I think I saw a use as a sea green. I just kind of wanted it to be a lighter minty color. And then a gold. I seem to always put gold into this soap. This is one I've made several times. For many, many years. Okay, so there's that one. I guess I kind of overdid it on my spatulas here. Didn't quite need them that large. My colors are still doing okay it seems. This will need just a bit of a blend. I should have done my white first but that's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Okay, so there are the inside accent colors. And to this one, I'm going to put in some titanium dioxide. Thank <laughs> you. 
much, but I did have some bits of titanium dioxide that needed well blended in. Get this in there. So I want about half of the, well it's not white, is it? But half of that, we'll just go with that. And then I'm going to put in, this has got a little bit thick on me. Actually, you know, I think it'll be fine because I didn't want it to really go down in a whole lot. pretty green. of this base in so I can give it a quick swirl I don't think my my plan is working out as I'd hoped. I think I'm going to go ahead and swirl that. I'm bringing in my, my wonky tool again. And then I don't want to go all the way down. I just kind of wanted this to be more towards the middle. Hopefully that's going to work out. It's quite thick so I'm not worried about it being over blended in there. So definitely is not going to be a middle situation here. I'm going to take some pipettes and just 
drizzle just a little bit on the top. I'm just going to use a red vibrance for this even though inside is actually a different red. I really should have just used this one. That would have been pretty. The mic is pretty anyway when you um, sometimes it's not a super bright thing in the mold. In the actual soap batter. a little bit of this green now even though this mica is mixed with oil. It soaks into the soap. So you don't have to worry about it being greasy or anything. take my little swirly contraption and it's a little thick so it looks like I need to be cautious about how deep I go in the batter so that it doesn't make a, a big oh what am I trying to say Anyway, if I go in too deep, it'll kind of leave a, I'm thinking of a ravine or a trench. I don't know why, but that's, anywho, you probably know what I'm saying at this point. I keep going back and forth with what I'm trying to do here. I need to stick with, stick with one thing. I was just trying to do some loop de loos here. But my poor my poor brain always sends it a different direction without even without approval. So there's no there's no real, real rhyme or reason to this, just me doing my thing. Kind of doing a figure eight. A figure eight with some loop de loos. I do feel off my game on this one, guys. I don't know why. So we shall see how it turns out. That looks pretty good. I don't think I should mess with it too much. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I don't even think I'm going to put any glitter on it. So here we have the cranberry mint soap and I will be back for the cut. All right, so here we are to cut the cranberry mint soap. And I am really liking the subtle swirl, the, this uh, lighter green with the gold and the um, reddish color is so pretty. I'm particularly loving this bar. I just love the um, just how it's like concentrated right there and it's just very kind of shimmery and swirly. That is just the best green for this soap. It smells really nice you kind of get the tartness of the cranberry, 
with the mint. It's a happy blend. Um, when it's first made, it is one of those that you're like, well, really, is this the way we want to go? And it has to cure. It just, it needs that cure time. It's actually been a little bit since I made this. These bars are getting pretty hard. But I've kind of congregated all of my cutting to one time frame here. So, that one's neat how it goes with zoop. Huh? I know you guys always see fun designs in the soap. I don't always see it as I'm cutting it, but I know you guys tend to see the fun designs. And there's just something about a mica swirl on top. It is just the most shimmery. I don't know if it's going to focus. Are you going to focus? It is just the most shimmery of situations. This is definitely just kind of a classic Missouri River soap scent. I've made it so many different ways. At one point I called it cranberry mint tins because I did a mitten design and I really wanted to do that again this year but I wasn't able to get my ducks in a row. It seems like I'm always rushing and working on certain situations thinking oh I have enough time to get that figured out and then it's just boom here we are. It's time to get her going. So I was a little behind on that one but maybe by next year. Now isn't that a fun swirl? It's kind of like the top of a hat. Ha! Ah, it's cool. I like it. I feel like all I say every time in my videos when I cut, I'm so pleased. I like it. I love it. But really what else is there to say? If you know what I mean. That's just, I'm just happy. I'm happy with it. I'm not unhappy with it. So, thus, that's what comes out every time. Now, isn't this unique? All the colors right here. And, <laughs> and this is like this, just the palest, the palest of green. That's what I love about making soap, especially in the big slabs. It's just so different every single time. Every loaf is different every bar is different I mean obviously it's very similar in a in a just a loaf a single loaf but anyway I do think it has a tendency to swirl out and be a little bit more random So I'm starting to get things together, get everything ready. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get all my videos up prior to the listing this year, but so, well, I should have held on to that far. Eeks. Well, that didn't turn out right. Well, whoopsies. I'm sure I can fix that. I'll fix it. If not, which is actually too bad because look at this bar. That's a cool bar. I'll fix it. I'll make it work. Alright, so there we have it. wonder where the other side of that one is. I have no idea where I put it. But, any who's it? There we have Cranberry Mint. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later.